We can now properly mirror the internals of our auto tiles, which means that we're going to have a seam in the middle, right? And we also have kind of a lot more grooves if we keep on changing axes. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, and let's go G to load. And let's load something I drew in a previous video that we don't have time to draw here. So let's go all the way down here. Let's grab this. And look at that. That looks pretty cool, right? We are able to make some pretty badass stuff with this engine. And things are only going to get more badass. So let's look at the code we've done in video 343. No, 434. Sorry. Um, I sometimes invert numbers in my head and do weird things. In the key mass down editor function that looks for an input event and it's a keyboard event. And this is just going to like listen to the keyboard events when the eddy game is being used as an editor. So the down events for when eddy game is being used as an editor. If we go all the way down here, we're going to find a new keyboard binding. And that keyboard binding allows us to turn on and off the internal mirroring of the auto tile value. So right here, this new section of code right here, if we press the end key, we want to toggle on or off this editor mode mirroring of the AM6 values. The AM6 values stand for auto tiling methods six because there's six bits. There's latching X, latching Y, mirroring X, mirroring Y, and then two rotation bits for a total of six bits. And we're gonna make sure that it toggles to either one or zero. And if it doesn't, then we're gonna throw an error. And that's all we wrote. So here's what we did previously. Here's our footnotes, and here's what we did in this video. If you want a longer explanation, you can go here. You are on the short advanced playlist. Source code is here. Email me here. Like, subscribe, send money in the mail. I am Kanji Coder, and I am working on Atomic Ivy MMO.